Hi, I'm Charlie Mack, and today I want to give you a small glimpse into the exciting world of auditory neuroscience, which is all about how the brain processes sound. To do this, I'm going to use this knife, this smiley face, and this shark. Our brains are constantly processing data which are received through our five senses. Sound makes up a vitally important component of this data in terms of what shapes our consciousness. <laughs> Sound comes in many different forms, but none quite as deliberately created as music. When we look at the way music affects the way we think, feel and even perceive the world around us, it shows us how important it is to be mindful of sound. Chromaticism is a musical term that describes notes on the chromatic scale and the way they are used in music to evoke a predictable emotional response in the listener. Chromatic notes are notes that are closest to each other, like the black and white keys on the piano. When these notes are used, they create a discord that the brain reads as emotional tension. Chromaticism is used all the time by sound designers in movies to make audiences feel anxious and on edge. Now I'm going to need the help of my shark and my knife to help explain chromaticism. Consider the two most famous chromatic notes of all time, played one after the other. And now consider them played together. Now I'm going to need the help of Mr. Smiley Face. Recent university studies concluded that not only does musical sound have the power to shape our mood with predictable accuracy, it also can direct how we perceive the world around us. In a perception study, test subjects were asked to identify happy and sad smileys while listening to happy and sad music. Music greatly influenced what the subjects thought they saw. Consistently those listening to happy music identified more faces as smiling and those listening to sad music thought they saw more sad faces. The flatline smileys were perceived by the brain in the direction the music was taking them. What does all this mean? Well, maybe you're not a negative person after all. It's probably just time to stop listening to all that country and western music. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. I'm Charlie Mack. Thanks for listening. <laughs>